Oh yeah, mama. Say hello to daddy for me. Uh-huh. Yeah, girl. I see you walking, boo. Just dropped the lid. That wasn't supposed to be part of the video. This Prime truck's backing up through a fuel island, dude. What in the world, Prime? What are you doing, dude? With the trailer or what? Um, it says it's in the yard. But today, in six years, full time, uh, total truck driving experience. Today, I went in there and I filed a formal complaint. Look who we got here. We got Little Ryder. Little Ryder. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? What's up, Ryder? Oh, she's a boxer, boy. Look at her boxing. Punching around. Yeah, you're you're a you're pretty dog. Yeah, that's a beautiful coat. Yeah. And you found her? You found her on the uh, at the pilot in Paducah. Just outside of Paducah. Just outside of Paducah. Yeah. Saying free puppy, you picked her up, man. Gave yep. her a home, dude. Yep. Named her Ryder, man. That's awesome, man. Oh, yeah. Your name, one more time. Jason. 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 I remember your. I remember your comment saying you're going to deliver in Sioux City. Yeah. And I was like, well, I don't know, man. Maybe we're going to deliver. I don't know, bro. Anyways, man. But yeah, dude. Good meeting you, nice bro. Meet you, good meeting you, Jason. Bro, Jason. It was awesome getting to meet you, bro. And uh, Ryder too, your little dog, dude. I got a question though, man. Um. Oh, and Jason, thank you for coming on the live stream. That was awesome. I got a question, bro. Does anybody's floor mat look like this, dude? Does y'all's floor mat look like that, dude? Look at that, man. It's dirty. <sighs> a lot of so snow, a lot of salt, and I'm just curious, dude. Um, bro, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of happier that the weather's warmed up because, bro, like in all realness, dude, I'm trying to keep it real here. Um, Bro, when the temperature gets down below my age, I ain't hanging out with nobody. I ain't gonna go do nothing with nobody, bro. I'm in, bro. So I'm I'm glad for the warmer temperatures coming up. Picked a load up out of Storm Lake, Iowa. Surprise, surprise. I was there again. And we're headed over to KC. I'm gonna drop it, and then they're gonna give me another load. Coming out of KC, going somewhere. Hopefully somewhere. So I'll get back home Saturday, but I'll probably be in KC around Friday, but I think they'll have like a smaller lo I think they'll have like a smaller load I'm tired bro and I gotta get something to eat now I'm gonna eat a sandwich tonight and I'm gonna put honey mustard chips on the sandwich and I'm gonna try it I'm trying different chips dude you know because I like the way it tastes bro I like having like a little crunchy stuff in there man on the sandwich oh yeah baby check that out man with the veggies on the side get y'all some of these honey mustard ruffle chips dude bro them are so good They're, it's like it tastes like crunchy honey mustard on your sandwich man it's really good really good dude. now truck drivers know what i'm saying bro that is a good lemonade you know what else goes in this bottle y'all know listen man I'm gonna finish watching my show. I'm watching Mayor of Kingstown, dude. I gotta go to bed though, man. Y'all know why I gotta go to bed. Y'all are gonna make me say it, aren't you, baby? You're gonna make me say it. We ride it down. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh. Rise and shine. It's money time, baby. It's 5 a.m. What do you know? It's 5 a.m. and your boy's been sleeping in, dude. Uh, Hirsch bike driver backing in over here, dude. So, um, oh, he's gonna do all right, though, man. He's doing all right. Let's check this out here. Um, oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. That's my snack, my snack drawer right there, baby. Got us a good old cliff bar. Ugh. Check 
check that out, man. C4. This is the W, the wrestling, the wrestling one, dude. It's called Ruthless Raspberry. It's my second favorite. It's got the big W on the side. It's like WWE or whatever, man. Like Stone Cold Steve Austin drinks this. Ah. All right. All right. Let's roll out, baby. And we're headed down to Olathe to drop, so let's drop in Olathe. Let's get this done, boys. We're leaving the Flying J, man, because I really... Get over on your side there, big boy. Get over on your side. Get over on your side, man. There you go. Golly, dude, Crete. Get with the program, my man. Uh, cause I gotta get fuel at Love's, man. I try to keep all my points at one fuel stop, dude. And everything, dude, I need a truck wash, dude. I, I am in desperate need of a truck wash. There's a Love's just down the street from here. I didn't, I, I wish I would've just parked there last night, man. Cause that would've been better for me, but. There was more parking at the Flying J and I just didn't want, I was like four or something whenever I stopped lot yesterday, so. Anyway, it don't matter. Oh yeah, baby, the Golden Arches. Here at this Love Shack, we got a Mickey D's. You're making a turn like that, man, you gotta watch that tail. Oh my, okay. Dude, I thought all these trucks were backed up, bro, on the fuel island, man. Bro, what's this guy doing coming out the? Bro, this is the entrance, Prime. Do you know what that means? It means it's the entrance, bro. Golly, dude, I swear, bro. Oh, Wilson Company. He likes to just sit up there. Oh, there's a look at that. Another prime truck. This prime truck's backing up through a fuel island, dude. What in the world, Prime? What are you doing, dude? It's five in the it's 522 in the morning. You can do whatever you want to in the fuel island, my man. Just not as long as you're not in front of me, I don't care. Yeah, mama, say hello to daddy for me. Uh-huh, yeah, girl, I see you walking, boo. Uh-huh, yes, ma'am, I sure do. Let's pull up to the line. I got something to say up here. Once I pull up to the line, I got something I wanna say. Listen, before I go any further, will y'all do me, will y'all do me a solid, bro, for real? Just like the video. Would y'all do it? Would y'all do it for for your book for your boy Wildbeard? Just like the video, man. Listen, if you're gonna come to Hirschbach, you know I'm gonna say it, bro. You know I'm gonna say it. If you're gonna come to Hirschbach, you got any questions, you can message me on social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. Um, if you're looking into applying, call Jordan. She's gonna be able to help you answer questions about specific jobs in your specific area because I just don't know that kind of stuff. There's a lot of things I don't know. I know everybody thinks I know everything, but I don't. It's not true. Misperception. You don't have to give me the uh, referral, but it helps if you do. It's all I'm saying, dude. It's all I'm saying. It helps if you do. Well, let's roll out. Now we got that done and over with. Let's roll out. What we got going on up here? Huh? Three police cars, bro? Whoa, bro, dude, why are you? Bro, they they all of a sudden just slow down. Got one police uh, SUV. Looks like this is a tow truck right here. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, bro, it's a truck. Dude, that truck swerved off the interstate, man. Flatbed too, bro. Oh, dude, man. It's crazy, man. It's crazy out there, man. Whoo!
It smells, bro. Bro. It smells like old man cologne in here, bro. Yeah, I can't even breathe right, dude. Gosh. At least it's clean, though. Sort of. It's been a long day. I had to, I didn't go to Olathe. I dropped a load in Enid, Oklahoma, and I'm picking up a load in Enid, Oklahoma, and coming back up to KC tomorrow. So I'm gonna get a shower tonight. And I'm tired. I'm tired, bro. It's been a good 500 some, 500 and 520 mile day today, so just a little, just tired, bro, but it's good. Ain't no better way to start the day than to take out the trash, baby. Just drop the lid. That wasn't supposed to be part of the video. I'll have to edit that out. Gonna fuel up here at the Loves. Then we're gonna go pick up this relay and eat it. Tyson plant or Pierre Foods, however you want to say it. It's five in the morning, and then we're headed home, dropping in Olathe and picking up little guy. So let's roll out, old son. One thing I'm really nervous about, guys, is, uh, bro, there's nothing over there. There's nothing over there, bro. Gosh, dude, I do not feel like hearing loud noises in my ear at five in the morning, dude. One thing I'm nervous about, dude, here in, here in Eden, Oklahoma, bro, there is this really I'm talking really, really, really mean security guard, bro. And she has the worst attitude. And no matter what I do, no matter what I do, bro, she never laughs. She never smiles, bro. It's like, it's like her mom did not hug her enough as a kid, dude. So we're going to go down there. We're going to see, uh, hopefully she's not there this morning but who knows dude anyways we'll see when we get there dude so this is what happened went into that security guard check and yes the mean girl is there and uh, I was like I'm here to pick up a relay which was supposed to be here at 4 p.m. yesterday and then so I was like hey I'm here to pick up a relay gave her the load number and she's like well it's not here she's like you can park over there at Bobtail and I'm like okay so I called in to dispatch and they told me that the driver was here yesterday at 3 p.m. That's what the Tyson system was saying. So I'm gonna have to go back in there, bro. And I just don't feel like dealing with her, bro. This is so stupid, dude, but it's all good, man. It's part of the job. I just gotta go in there. I always start off being really nice, very cordial with security guards, you know what I'm saying? But like this one, she's just very difficult. And if you disagree with her, man, she gets, she can get upset. So, but, um, dude, you just gotta do what you gotta do, man. And if, and if the load's here, I'm not here playing around, joke, you know, like, just give me my freaking load and let's get out of here, dude. So, I'm going home. I just gotta get in there and be a little bit more forceful, dude. Confident, you know? So, let's do it. you guys have a uh, paperwork for a relay down there okay because it says it's on the yard but I don't have any paperwork or nothing um, and I don't know if that the paperwork is with the trailer or what um, it says it's in the yard um, just a second hang on all right thank you Not in the trash. 
trailer. Here we are. I gotta call in a dispatch again and then see if they can get me some paperwork, bro. I don't know, man. It's always something, dude. And, um, you know, there was, there was, they didn't have nothing, so they just, they said to call dispatch again. So, that's what I'm doing. A little bit of a process, but I'll get it started here, okay? Uh, should I just stay tuned for my message from you? Right, I'm going to be departing here shortly. I'm going to copy Holly and everyone else on it so they can let you know. Okay, awesome. Awesome. If, what, if you don't hear something in 20 minutes, give us another call back. Okay, so in 20 minutes, give you guys a call back and uh, and just double because because that's any. that usually is how long. Do they like fax it in to somebody or something here at this plant or? What what they'll do is they'll send it to me as a PDF and then we'll probably have to forward it to them to print out either that or. Uh, I'll have to get it to you at a truck stop or something. I don't know. But <laughs> typically, if I can get it out <clears throat> to them, they'll print it out for us. Right, right, right. <laughs> Excuse me. So, let me get started here, okay? All right. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, guess it's time to eat breakfast. I need a good breakfast this morning. Um... I need a good breakfast this morning, dude, because uh, I'm gonna eat some strawberries this morning, and uh, hopefully calm down a little bit. But I'm pretty, pretty wired up right now. She kind of changed her tune a little bit when I went back in there and told her the trailer was here. But. Call back in 20 minutes, I guess. God. Yeah, bro. So they just, they literally were just, they weren't in the bottom rack, they weren't in the top rack. It was just in the middle. See, if I wouldn't have said anything, like, at least you checked out. I feel like this dude's cool. At least he'll just look for me. You know what yeah. I'm saying, dude? But, gosh, bro. So that ridiculous. Sucks so much. Yeah, dude. I mean, I'm supposed to be home today. You know what I'm oh, saying, dude? I'm going home awesome. today, man. Hey, man, we'll see you on the way out. What's up, man? You doing all right, dude? What? Said you doing all right? Doing good, man. Doing good. Same, working the same Tyson account. Yeah, yeah. All right, good seat. Say what? Yeah, I'm about to pick up my trailer. They had my paperwork in the office the whole time, but they weren't looking in the right place. And today's my home load. I could have been home hours ago. I'm about to grab mine too, so that's crazy. It's insane, dude. Grab my dad, I know. It's frustrating. Yeah. It's frustrating. I know. I think if I should ask you, I'll say, I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to try to do it tonight. Okay, man, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Hey, good seeing you too, man. Take it easy. So the time is 3.25 p.m. Went in there to the security guard shack and I said, you know, it just didn't make any sense that Tyson would let a trailer drop on its yard and not know where the paperwork is in one office or the other. And I went in there, man, and they had this, I don't know if you could see him on the video. I was, you know, whatever. He was cool as crap, dude. This security guard, now he's probably like 18, 20 some years old. Cool as crap. Went in there. And I was like, hey, man, they said the paperwork wasn't in there this from this morning. And I said, uh, do you care? Uh, do you care? And he said, he's like, he's like, I was like, you care? Just check again. And uh, he's like, yeah, man. So, like, he gets up. He checks again, willingly, you know. He's like, yeah, it's not here, man. He's like, it's not here, man. I was like, well, so there's a box. There's a three-slotted box. And they check one. They check the other. But they, the girl this morning, she didn't check the middle one. And I kind of was like, well, what about this other box? She's like, those aren't relays. I'm like, okay, those aren't relays. Got it. You know, and I mean, like, bro, she's putting in zero effort. Dude, she's not going to take any anybody questioning her. 
about her job whatever dude you know I mean I told you I, I told you from the get-go I knew I knew this girl was just I've had several problems with her like just acting kind of crabby to me you know what I'm saying dude it's whatever I, bro I don't get offended I, I do my job I go home that's all I want so well he checked the middle box today this guy in here just now checked the middle box bill of ladings were there the bill of ladings have been there the whole day I could have been home already now a lot of things I don't care about dude I don't care what you say to me I'm not gonna cry about it I got some thick skin in order to this to be in this trucking industry you gotta have some thick skin in here you gotta have some patience and I try to show kindness to everybody I try to show professionalism to everybody but I was supposed to get my little boy today And I didn't get to see my little boy because she wouldn't check a box. That's why I couldn't see my little boy today. Because she wouldn't go check a box. And today, guys, now I've only been in truck driving for six years. That's not a long time. But I've seen a few things in my day. But today, in six years, full time, uh, total truck driving experience. Today, I went in there. And I filed a formal complaint on this girl. Now, I'm not the kind of Karen that complains and wants to complain. But I went in there and I told him what happened. And I wrote a whole statement down. I wrote my phone number, truck number, company I work for, Kirschbach. I wrote uh, the, the BOL number down. I wrote the trailer number down. And I wrote out everything. And I gave the kid this from this afternoon. I gave him a compliment. I was like, I appreciate the second security guard investigating for me. That's what I wrote down on the on the paper for my for my official statement. Nobody deserves to be treated less than human. Can I like, bro? We're gonna get into this. We're gonna get into this, okay? And I'm gonna talk about this when I get home. I'm gonna start getting ready. I've got. Uh, I'm waiting for my 10 hours. I like, dude, it's been 10 hours almost. So I'm going to let the let the clock reset um, to get my hours back so I can drive home. I, I'm already hooked to the trailer and everything. I just got to, we just got to get out of here and go. But um, when I get home, I'm going to talk about this. We're going to talk about when I get home. All right, we're pulling out of the Tyson plant finally. Uh, just trying to make it home, guys. Should get there. I'd say I should get to the Tyson plant around 11 p.m., get home 12-ish. So we're gonna be doing good. 12 a.m., so 12 hours late getting home. So, but it's all like, guys, you know, man, I filed the complaint, dude, and it's over now let's let's focus on getting home i will get young wild tomorrow morning and uh we're gonna ensure that we try to make it home as fast as possible we're not as fast as possible as safely and quickly as possible that's a better way to say it as what do you guys know about this man there's a train as far as the eye can see and it stopped on the tracks man literally just stopped on the freaking tracks dude I'm like two miles from the plant dude and we've already got this man they need to back that train up let us traffic go through or something man I don't know BNSF bro Ugh. well we'll be waiting here for a while I guess hey young wild guess what guess what huh? the Chiefs won the game today against the ravens boom 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 we won today bubby mahomes won the chiefs won we're going to the super bowl isn't that awesome yeah yeah <sighs> so i didn't get home last night until 10 11 o'clock
And then I got little young wild here this morning. And we were still able to go to church and hang out some a little bit today. We got matching jerseys on today, don't we? You and Daddy match, don't we? Gonna make some cookies today, and then uh, I'm gonna talk about this security guard, bro. So me and Levi, come on, come on, young one. Let's go over here. Poseidon, back, back out of here. All right. So we just <clears throat> we just finished washing our hands. Now we're gonna see what it says here. It says to preheat the oven at 350 degrees. That's what we gotta do, right? So we're gonna put bake, 350 degrees. It's already there. Yeah. Gotta take these. All right, hold on, don't be moving around too much. All right. Can you help Daddy put these on the on the tray so we can bake them? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now right there, that's good. You don't have to push it down. Just put it on there. Yeah. I'll put them on. <laughs> good job. Knock them down in there. Daddy will break them off, and you put them down there. Okay. All right. Cookie. Yeah, you're making cook. We're making cookies when they're not done yet. They're just this is called cookie dough. Oh, cookie. Cookie dough. That's what it is before you bake the cookies. All right. Thank you so much for helping. You ready to go wash our? Let's go wash our hands again. Mommy, you're so amazing. Yeah. We never make go that by home. Yes. Look what I got, baby. Good cookies, bro. Good cookies. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Now, I always wanna treat people the way I wanna be treated. I always try to show kindness to people. I always try to be patient. I'm not always successful at being patient, I'll be honest. This security guard just, I just got sent over the edge about it. And I'm a lot, and I'm calm, everything's good. I got home, I still gotta see young wild for a little while but you know what and this is what I was thinking it's not my job like say I walk into somebody's office and I'm like hey can I borrow a pen so I can sign these papers and they're like oh well the pins are usually in a cup oh there's no pins in the cup that's where they usually are so sorry you're gonna have to come back another time I'm gonna have more pins and I'm like it's not my job to be like well can you look under your keyboard for a pen you know what I'm saying, dude? It's not my job, bro. And I think that's what's frustrating to me, dude. Like, why do I have to sit here and, and say, like, look here, look here, look here in the office, look here, look. Like, bro, like, it's your job. Just go look around in the office, man. It, like, paperwork gets misplaced, you know? I totally get it. All very frustrating to me. While I was going through it, I, I edited the video, and I'm kind of looking back on it now and, and what I was feeling and everything. But it, it was all just very frustrating. And I think for me what breeds the most frustration is laziness. Um, that really, like if I have to work with somebody who's super lazy, like it, it, it does something to my mental conscience, man. But listen guys, this is a new week, a new time, a new start. And um, I'm thankful to be alive. I'm thankful there's breath in my body. I'm thankful I woke up this morning. I'm thankful that I have food in my stomach. I'm thankful that I've got shelter over my head, that I'm not in the rain. Like, I'm thankful for a lot of things, man. And I'm thankful for the grace of God, man. So y'all know what I'm going to say, baby. Love God. Love family. Work hard. Stay dangerous. Wild beard out.